Hello guys, it's Raging Raptor here and now I want to give you the brief update about the Dead Challenger, the tier 7 upcoming British TD with a very funny back armor. But yeah. Let's move on. It's a tier 7 TD as a satellite with 900 HP. It has roughly of HP to ton ratio of 20, which says that it will be a lot of a funny tank because it will be fast, huh? With, thir with okay, 32, 32 um, it, um, tons and tw um, 650 horsepower. It has a 20 HP per ton ratio, the same as our dear loved charioteer, which I already reviewed. And damn, I love that tank. But yeah, let's move on to this tank. The whole armor is roughly the same as on the Comet, or roughly the same as here, a little bit better even. The turret armor isn't that good, except for the back turret, it's 200. And the gun is the 17 pounder AT gun. Something special to notice that you have first this gun, you have that already researched when you played it here, um, the other branch. You only need to get the turret and the uh, then first you only have this turret, which is probably from a little bit, little bit better armored, but gives you a lower round of fire and things like this. So let's move on back to this turret. Then yes, um, the round of fire is 14 shots with a name time of 1.7 seconds and 0.33 dispersion, which is really good, so it's quite of an accurate gun. The penetration for the tier 7 tank is midi core with 171 and 150 damage. To be honest, I don't really appreciate that. And first of all, I will just um, get this and this. As you can see here, this is how it works. Oh, come on. Okay, still a little bit buggy. I need to re click. Or not. Then make it like this. I'm sorry guys, I don't know why it exactly didn't want it to work. Now it looks like I need to move it. Need to close this? No. Okay, as you really see, the personal missions are still bugged. But yeah, you need to destroy it at least two enemy vehicles and survive the battle. That should be easy, right? But yes, um, the fuel range isn't that good as well. Oh, no, for the tier 7 tank it is good, for the tier 8 tank it is worse, because the tier 8 tank is only 370. And yes, so let's see what is also special. The tier 10 tank, the FV stage 2, has the same setup, two loaders and driver and gunner and the commander, like the challenger. Problem? Charioteer and Conaway has one loader less. So basically for two tanks which need a lot of XP to research, you know, you will have to to um to change the loader in between. Because for example here, the Achilles has as well has a two loader as well. So only one, this is not so good. This one has only one loader. The Sherman Firefly also. As you can see, it's kind of harsh to get a um, new full setup. Like here, to get two loads for the tier 10 tank. But yeah guys, let's move on and go into a battle. I'm sorry when I um, when I sound like uh, bullshit. <laughs> Yesterday I was on a little, par a little party of our school and I screamed quite much because of how good of one of our class sung on the contest and I feel a little bit of sick. That's how probably my voice is a little bit crackled up. But yes, as I already said in the previous three videos, I really love the charioteer at the moment. It is fast and it is accurate. It has a good gun for tier 8, which is also good in tier 10 because hey, you got hash as premium ammo and APCR as normal ammo, standard ammo. And it looks like we have a little problem here that only the most guys are only playing tier 10 at the moment. 
but I hope we will get into a tier 7 to 8 to 9 battle. Of course, I really would like to see a tier 8 battle, so I can show you on lower tiers how good this tank is, and on medium tiers. Against high tiers. Of course, with um, tier 9 tanks, will I will ha would have struggle. Tier 10 tanks as well. Because then you need to aim for weak spots, especially for example Tiger 2 lower plate or um, Ice 8 lower plate, or mostly need to shoot gold. And yes, still no battle found. Yeah, of course, you can see uh, only 110 players in the queue. I hope we get to into a battle in a moderate time. But um, till we wait here, I think I can refer to an, an, an um, question which one wrote in a comment, and this was, if I have a wireless mouse. Uh, no, I haven't. I have a laptop set up. It's an Acer SP V um, U um, sorry V3 772 G with an i7 processor as well as a GeForce GTX 760M. And I see that this setup is good for World of Tanks, it's good for all games which are one or two years old, but for the newest games like Star Citizen or um, um what is it? Oh, Battlefield 4 to play it on the highest ratios, mm, yeah, it's not that good. But hey, look at this guys, we got lucky we are on a tier 7 battle, so, and even a good map, Live Oaks, so let's see what we can do on this map. Oh man, it's really annoying how my throat is going to be. And again, I have to say, the models and the mashes over the models, they look really good. As well, I have to think, to say that the um, inscriptions and the emblems also look quite good. I think it lo even looks a little bit better, especially here where um, the lower part is a little bit roughed up. Here you can see this huge plate on the back. I don't know why they put it there. Um, I once heard this tank should have a bigger gun, but I'm not sure. I think... I'm, I'm really not sure, I don't want to say any lies. Let's but go. there was one said that this tank should have um, the, L, um, the Royal Ordinance, and this would be historical, so... I'm not sure if this is true. But we can see this tank has... To compare to the other tanks, damn, that gun impression, it's minus 10, this is quite good, and... Oh, speed, look at this, look at this! This is how the tier 9 and 10 tank should be, like the tier 8 tank, go 52! Or at least 40, like the Centurion hole would be. And this also leads me to the... to my thoughts probably about how the Action X Centurion will it be. Will be. I really hope it will be faster than 40 kilometers. 50, this would be so amazing. But yeah, they still don't have the, um, the model for the Action X Centurion and. Yeah. Mm. Look at this. So good gun depression. Oh. As you can probably see at the moment, I have quite low frames. I don't know why. The enemy teams they are doing team kills. Not a, no problem for me. We've damaged them. So as you can see, it's a really accurate gun, even with leggies. But I will move a little bit forward. I don't know why I have so so much legs at the moment, and not legs, frame drops. Enemy armor is damaged. Target really unlocked. accurate at the moment. Ready the second shot, which was really accurate. I like that. Oh no. Eh, no. I don't go. But this is the gun impression. This is really nice to see because the Charioteer is a really good tank. The tier A tank. But the gun depression is one of the biggest minuses. It's really annoying because it would be such a great tank. Enemy armor is hit. Kind of, this tank kind of reminds me of the Panther. Also Enemy a really great hit. tank. As you can see, no problem sniping that Enemy guy. And here we get our first kill for this mission. So let's see if I can get another one. Okay, this is quite risky. 
Yep, this was risky. Okay. Um, sorry guys for this stupid charge. Probably I will die. I hope, don't hope so. And yes, oh, I survived. So basically, I um, for the mission which you already saw, I got two kills, and we will win. I need to win this battle. So now we need to stay alive <laughs> that that we win this. Oh no. Oh no. No, no, no. <gasps> oh, it was just... It just wanted to shoot me, damn. <laughs> Russian Rage. Oh, the Archer one. Great tank as well. And as you can see now at the moment, this tank has a really good camouflage. I don't know what is the fuel range at the moment of... of or not. Or not. Oh, okay. Um, I fucked up. I fucked up. I fucked up. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Somehow... Then don't know how I got spotted, but I fucked up. But now I'm asking myself, what did spot me? Oh man, AT-15. Hmm. Enemy armor is damaged. Oh! Accuracy! Enemy is hit. Accuracy, seriously! Okay, this is kind of lucky that Enemy I hit this shot. Okay, what is happening? Why do I bounce this? Uh, can try this Never mind, we move on. Oh, as, as, as I can see now, the tier 7 and the tier 8 tank, in my opinion, are really pleasant to play. The next tank which I will refer to will be the Achilles and the Almighty Firefly. Okay, we still need to win this battle to get the, um, the secondary mission. Hey, Tiger, could you please? No? Thank you. The secondary mission gives us again a little little boost on credits for the stock free, uh, stock four. Oh, oh, did he spot me? No, he didn't. Okay, stress test. Two hundred sixty meters. Do I get spotted? And no. Oh, punch that DPM. Enemy armor is damaged. Kind of heavy, hard to sh hit him with the slacks. Will I get him? Oh, one thing I see at the moment. The ammunition uh, amount isn't that high. Okay, I have 16 APCR shots because uh, I thought that it will quite be... Uh, it's possible that we get in a tier 9 battle. But still, I only have 11 AP shells left, which isn't that much. Oh man, it's so... Annoying to s to have my throat at the moment like this. I think you know it, uh, that you feel that you get um, sick. This is really annoying. I really hate that. But yeah, I need to get get you the newest info, so I don't bother. <gasps> oh yes. Oh no. Okay, I fucked. Ah, there was a cheery and I forgot about it. Uh, there wasn't even on the mini map. Mm. Sorry, guys. So let's go back to my wreck and see if they can manage to do this. And no, I think the AT-15 will save the game for them. I don't know. Or no, that took those C-25s will get that. Hmm. Good job, guys. Um. So <coughs> I think I will break this here down. So go back to the garage. I hope our dear friends win this game, so we get again the secondary mission for um, for the personal missions here. Survive the battle, then we get another. Excuse me, bunch of experience. But guys, I hope you enjoyed it. The next tank will be one this tank or the Sherman Firefly. I'm not sure. I will see. So guys, I hope you enjoyed, and as always. See ya on the battlefield.